Look. The walls. Bruh. I don't know if they're like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure if they like Floyd Mayweather. Really? But they have an incredible record. So in the moment, no, I'm just in the moment, you can fall and get knocked the f out. Mm -mm. Welcome to the JNO show. Where we talk about things that we were never told them, J. And I'm O. And now you know. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you can know we upload because you never want to miss an episode. Also, if you guys are new here and you have ideas for show topics, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section and write hashtag next show so that way we can easily filter through and give you more of what you want. What you want. All right, so today, guys, wait a minute, hold up. Before we even get into it, we need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Bruh. Remember I told you this is our anniversary month, the month of May, okay? We've been doing YouTube for two years this May, and we have a small goal of doing 500 plus, okay, 500 plus, subbies this month. So um, if you're watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, all right? Where's your phone? Anywho. Where's your phone? Charging, why? Grab it. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. We want to give a huge shout out. I want to give an official shout out to Kai Mobley. Yes. Because we be begging y'all to comment <laughs> on the video and to subscribe. <laughs> and my brother is helping us out, giving us a little splash for the algorithm. Yes. We thank you. Yes. Also, Masoy Henry. We want to thank you. you. Well, too. You've always been rocking up with us from day one, always dropping books <laughs> in the Bruh. comment section we appreciate you and sativa sean las vegas i hope i said it right thank you i've been seeing you commenting in there giving us things that they, what even if you guys disagree with us yes. and we okay. have a little bit of a back and forth about what we think or you just say something really funny and really cynical <laughs> and we just laugh at it like whatever it is thank you for looking at the channel especially those of you who watch episode after episode and are really you know uh sticking with us and really trying really being a part of the congregation as we like to say yes. though it ain't no ministers up in here but we still <laughs> a congregation somehow we still a family we appreciate y'all for um doing it everybody else please be encouraged to do so we will be looking through comments and you know if you just got saying mean stuff i'm just gonna block you i'm not even gonna full stop i'm just gonna block i don't want that energy here yeah like i want people to be feel free to come out and disagree with each other yes. because we're trying to learn we don't know everything no we don't we're still learning <laughs> but we do know certain things because we listen to our elders and we listen to other people in our situation mm -hmm. who are passing out wisdom right. and we try to really think on things and see if it makes sense or if it makes sense for us because some things can make sense for one person and not the other right. we understand these variables so for us to disagree only makes sense but if you're just saying something mean to say something mean, I'm definitely going to 100% just block you. I'm going to erase your comment, comment and I'm not even going to let it happen. Yeah. So, but other than that, we want to thank you guys for <laughs> yes. jumping in there. In the anyway. conversation. Yes. Okay. But anywho, so today's video, guys, we are actually going to be reacting to another YouTuber, Rich Way. AKA Young Richway, AKA Young Jail. Yes. Shout out to them. Yes. Um, we've been rocking with them for the past couple of years. Mm. They're a younger couple and they do vlog style. And we've reacted to one of their videos before in, in the past when they broke up. Mm hmm. But they're back together. Yes. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> this video, it hit close to home. Forget close, it hit home. Mm. And then also, it speaks on a lot of the different things that we have been talking about when it comes to having kids basically raised in a two parent household, the benefits of that versus growing up in a single parent home and, mm. the, and what happens, you know, what can happen to that. This particular episode is actually Angelica. Shout out to Young Jill. Mm. She is actually recording her speaking to her biological father for the first time since 
she can remember basically since mm -hmm. she was like maybe three years old or something like that. Right. So yeah, I'm not gonna say too much more. Yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and hit play. And just to let you know, we, we're gonna be playing little snippets here and there. You can go to the to the to the channel, check out the video. They have a whole bunch of videos yeah. on everything that's happened since this happened. Right. We'll try uh, to link some of them down. And, and in we'll the link them down there, or we'll link their channel. Maybe just go over to their channel. You can search through. It's good for you to see some of the results of these situations that's happening. Yes. Okay. Hi guys. This is like my third time trying to film this video. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for so many years but just haven't had the courage to do so. I feel like today is the day where I finally feel okay. I finally feel like it's the right time. I want to make peace with something that has been bothering me for 20 years. I stopped it real quick because she was saying stuff that I want to put out there very quickly. Now, as we're making these decisions about growing these families, things happen. Mm -hmm. It just is. Some of us make mistakes with the people that we choose. Some of us make mistakes with, you know, we just do some of the stupid stuff. Sometimes it's just being young and dumb. But the youth today have the advantage of something that a lot of us who are older didn't have right you have access to information yes and by young i'm talking about everybody in their 30s and 20s if you're in your 30s and you're a grown man and a grown woman i'm talking to you too mm -hmm. you're still young yep please enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> you're still good boy when you hit 34 and 39 oh oh <laughs> what is waiting for you bruh Everything just stop working like it's supposed Anyway, look, I'm not even going to go down there. But for those people who are younger, who are making some of these decisions that are going to affect people for a lifetime. Yes. The things you're doing are going to affect people. So you making the wrong decision and the person that you're a mate with is going to affect somebody for a lifetime. You being stubborn about that decision is going to affect people for a lifetime. And not just you, because a lot of us think that all we got to worry about is us and nobody else. Not just you. It's going to affect Yo, kids. Right. And this is some of the proof of the stuff we're talking about. She's been thinking about this for 20 years. Jell is only 25. Bruh. Just turned 25. She just turned 25. She, this has been, she's been wanting to deal with this since she was five. This don't go, this is the thing about the single parent household and the absentee dads and the absentee moms and I'm going to raise my kids by myself and all of this stuff. Even mm -hmm. those of you who are amazing, you decide to adopt. Props to you. Yes. Get them kids out the system. Because mm -hmm. whatever you can offer them by yourself is better than them just being in the system. Right. So props to you. But there will still be repercussions. Mm -hmm. And we can't stick our heads in the sand because we're trying the best we can. And some of us are doing something that's amazing like adopting and act like there won't be. Be prepared for the outcomes of these decisions because there will be outcomes and if you're a parent you have to deal with that outcome this 20 years that means the girl ain't had no peace with this with this subject nope it don't just like it doesn't just go away no matter how amazing of a parent you are and you can't step in front and be like i wasn't good to you i wasn't a good parent it ain't got nothing, nothing to do, do with, with you nothing to do with that nothing you can be the most amazing, you can be the A plus parent of the year, every year for 30 years straight. And they're still going to be like, yeah, but my biological mom, about why they didn't they want me? Why exactly. didn't, that's still going to be, I don't know. Those are, I was going to say, those are questions that can't nobody answer for you except for that person. Like I said in the beginning, speaking, it hit home because I was raised in a single parent home. Just by my mom and my, my siblings or what have you. My dad was not in the picture. My dad only recently came back in the picture within the past 10 11 years but i went over 25 years basically not knowing where my biological father was not having contact with him and i can tell you from experience <laughs> the way that weighs on you like wanting to know the other half of you like where you come from <sighs> let me try not to get too emotional mm. Listen, it's going to affect your kids one way or the other. Like, your child is still going to want to know where they come from. Yep. And like Jermaine said, 
it has nothing to do with the parent who raised you, whether or not they did a good enough job. I think my mom did a phenomenal job yep. raising her, you know, her four children, the four of us. I think that she did an amazing job. Low key her mama beast. I'm gonna just throw that out there. But <laughs> she could not fulfill that space of me wanting to know about my dad and having those same questions like, you know, is there something wrong with me? Why didn't he want me? Um, and not just that, but being able to try to figure out as you get older, you start learning things about like your history, like your medical history, like Bruh. do certain diseases run in my family? Yep. I only have one side of the story. I don't know the other side of the story. So all of these are different things that people who are thinking like, oh, you know, well, I'm just going to raise my kid by myself Bruh. and I don't need whether it's the man or I don't need the woman in a knife. No, you do because your child is ultimately, ultimately going to pay that price. I don't care how great of a job that you do, there are going to be questions that that child needs to have answered that you cannot answer for them. Only that other parent can answer for them. I'm going to stop because I don't want to go any further yeah. into it, but we're going to go ahead and just um, list some, some information or some stats and then get back into the video for you. Okay. All right. Here are some of the well-known risks for children growing up with a single mother compared to the peers in married couple families. They have lower school achievement more discipline problems and school suspension less high school graduation lower college attendance and graduation more crime and incarceration especially for boys less success in the labor market and more likely to become single parents themselves thereby starting the cycle all over again for the next generation mm -hmm. these are the well-known factors of the single parent household that a lot of people don't talk about these are the things that you're facing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These are these are the consequences to our decisions. Once again, if you are in a in a situation where you are of sound mind and you're like adopting a kid or something like that, get them jokers out the system. You, they're gonna have a better chance with you, especially as a loving parent, than in the system. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and do what you gotta do. I bless you. They need to set up a GoFundMe. Yeah. Like, that's what it is as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it on some selfish stuff, because I see a lot of people making selfish decisions. I don't need, I don't need her daddy. We just did a video. Oh, yeah. I'd rather die on the side of the road starving before I call my baby daddy. And then she's going to call her baby daddy anyway. Bruh. Meanwhile, bad mouth to him. That's crazy. The the whole situation with the late the girl, the light-skinned Keisha. And she was like, oh, I think I could take care of my baby. Right. And, and Keisha was like... I don't think that's okay. <laughs> you want to have kids, but you don't know if you want to get married. So that means that you already going to be, you're planning to already bring this child into and, and have a deficit in their life, right? Wow. I mean, I feel Thank like you. if I find the right person, we could get married. I just, sometimes I don't really have a lot of faith but in do you these have to find the right person to have the baby? I do think I have to find the right person to have a kid, but I also feel like I'm in a position where I'm doing things for my own, so I would completely be okay with having to take on that responsibility by myself as, as far as financial sh** go, if I have to. I don't think that's okay. <laughs> I love her reaction. We'll These Link to that in here. <laughs> if, for those situations, that's what we're talking about. Right. When you're just being stubborn, mm -hmm. or you like, oh, you know, men don't bring nothing to the table but money. Bruh, the, the video that we just did, the family equals success, that just says family equals success in the thumbnail. Go see that video. Yeah. And it talks about how important it is to have a father in the household. Mm -hmm. A lot of the success that happens in the, the Jewish, I, I don't know if I should call it the race or if I should be like the belief system, the religion, the all togetherness of the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. A lot of that is because the dads are, are there and they have responsibilities that are religious ah. responsibilities that are actually out here in the world. You have to teach your, your kid at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. You have to teach them a trade so that they can be useful in society. And one of the things that they sort of kind of breeze through when they were did it, you have to ensure that the son is married. Yeah. You have to ensure a nuclear family. Why? Because they rich and they gonna keep their money. <laughs> that's not the that's not the only reason, but that is a result of that type of setup. Right. Like, you need moms, you need dads, and we need to stop acting like there's some other way. Mm -hmm. It's made like that. 
men or women, we here. We're meant to fit like this, pieces to a puzzle. Mm -hmm. That's why we're so opposite in the ways we're opposite. And we need to stop going, well, women is this, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I, they crazy, and they da da da. Oh, well, men is, is ish, and they don't. Know. Pick better men, pick better women. Yep. That's all we're going to say about that. That's what it is. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead to a little piece here. I think we're going to end up having to do a part two because this video was from like two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. A whole lot done happened. Yes. Since two and a half weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to hit this so you can see this little piece of her. And I just want you to pay attention to the faces that she's making as she talks to her father for the first time in like 20 years. Hello? 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 Yeah. Is this Angel? Yeah. Um, hi. This is, um, Angelica. Hey, Angelica. How are you, mommy? Wow, what a surprise. ¿Cómo estás? I'm, I'm good. Um, how are you? Um, well, not so good, baby. Not so good because, um, the personality was Sunday night. <clears throat> I was doing something, a pickup job. Eh, la, la, la de la compuesta de la guagua. Eh, estábamos subiendo, you know, a four wheels, the back of the truck. Y entonces, um, el amigo mío la subió sin querer, sin saber que yo, you know, I got my hand in between. And he almost caught my finger. Yeah. Are you okay? I mean, uh, I'm in pain right now, you know? Yeah. Just having a conversation like they talk all the time. Like, he's not taking in he's not taking oh, wow. in about how Yeah, that was uh, that was kinda that's your phone number? Yeah, this is my phone number. Okay, um can can I can I look over? Yeah, yeah, you can save it. Um, yeah. where, where do you live now? Good, good, yeah. Where do you, where do you live right now? I live in Baltimore. You live in Baltimore? Yeah. In Maryland? Uh-huh. Oh, I, I live in Miami. I didn't want to sit there and just look at the whole thing, but... Look at the expressions on her face. Like, that's the point that I'm making. Yeah. You guys got to go and watch the rest of the video. But, yeah, it's just a lot that goes on. And like Jay said, we probably do a part two yeah, to we, this. Because there's been a fallout. Yeah. And, and this is one of the things about these decisions that a lot of people are making now. There is fallout from these decisions. Not just the hurt and the pain that your child has to go through because of the things that we decide to do and not to do. Because we in the moment. And I, look. The walls. Bruh. I don't know if they're like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure if they like Floyd Mayweather. Really? But they have an incredible record. So in the moment. No, I'm just in the moment. Guys. <laughs> you can fall and get knocked the fuck out. Mm -mm. By the walls. They're undefeated. <laughs> and and that decision could mess your life up. And this is not just for people who are like, oh, should I have kids? And, and you're in love with the girl. No, 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 no. This is specifically for you guys who are just out there knocking girls down and then moving on. Yeah. Because though they have convinced us that, you know, condoms are invincible. Bruh. And, and birth control is 100%. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to, like, yes, it's a very, very high percentage of a chance of you not doing certain things. Mm -hmm. But we got to be more careful. We not even, we ain't even going down the road of pair bonding. We, we ain't even talking about morality. You ain't talking about none of that stuff. When we take all of that out of the equation, what chance are you taking? How many of these children out here do you think happened that were unintentional? Mm -hmm. And you think, you think all of these guys, they just, I just wasn't using a condom? Bruh. Something happened with the birth control. I didn't know what was going on. Ah. 
It's happening. Especially if you're doing it with women you don't know. Bruh. You don't know what they thinking. We got to make better decisions, y'all. Yep. And you may not pay for that decision. Some of us might not care about what happened to our children because we just that selfish. Mm -hmm. But there is fallout from all of these decisions that we make. And we got to be a lot more careful. I think I'm done for this one because I see how long we're running. I don't know if you have any last minute things because of the subject that you want to throw in there at all. Um, just make better decisions, y'all. Yeah. Because it's not, you can't just think about yourself. You have to think about everyone else potentially who can be involved in that. Whether it's the kids, if it's the significant other, just everybody. It's not just about you. Mm-hmm. And, and that's uh, all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it. I, I think there's going to be a part two because like I told you guys, there is a huge amount of fallout from this situation. Just her wanting to know. Other family members were affected. It caused a lot of drama. And to be honest, it gets so much worse than this in some families, in some situations. Mm. And it, we just have to be aware of what's happening, what happens to our kids. And um, we see it, but we just are not connecting a lot of the dots. A lot of what's happening to our culture is because of this. Exactly. This single mom epidemic that we have going on, it is not a good thing. And we need to handle it. Yep. So... That's going to be all right. That's going to be it for now. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And that about it. Just pass around the offer, please. Yeah, which means subscribe. Yes. <laughs> all right. Peace, y'all. Deuces. Press the off button. <laughs>